people will come in and they'll be like, oh, that's so sad. She's lived here for so long. But it kind of stops there. She just kept getting overlooked. Pirate's biggest obstacle was the fact that she was an older dog. People don't want to adopt the older dog because they think it's going to be more work. We thought very well that she could spend the rest of her life at the shelter. We didn't want her to live out her life there. We are dual military and I was going to be stationed in Hawaii. We had already talked about that we weren't going to get a dog for a while, so I was looking up different shelters to go volunteer at. I was on the Wahoo SPCA website and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to look at the dogs that they have. Most of them have kind of younger, middle-aged, and then I saw this one that was really old. Her face was all gray. She had the cutest ears. They just stuck straight out. She just started winning my heart over. The next day I went to go meet her. When Jennifer came in said, I want to meet Pirate, we were all like, our pirate? Like, pirate here? They were in like complete disbelief that anyone was there to ask about pirate, because I guess no one. She looked so sad. She just looked through people. They told me that it seemed like she was getting just tired of life. It broke my heart. I was like, I, I know I just met this dog, but I need to make her happy. <laughs> that night I went out and I bought her her first soft bed and a toy. She came over, put her head up, and let me pet her. From then on, started to create this little bond and she started to trust me. She was 11 and a half at the time. And I'm like, wow, she's been there for over half of her life. No one has tried to adopt her before. We need to be that person. She's the dog that nobody wanted. And she won me over immediately. She had just moved to the island. We didn't have the house yet. So she came like every day for months and sat with Pirate in her kennel. Went before work, I went after work. They even let me come sit in there with her all day when they were closed. So they just let me be with her. Just two months until we eventually took her home. We're like, oh my gosh, this is really gonna happen. Pirate's getting her forever home. We were so excited. When she was able to get Pirate comfortable in her house, Pirate just showed a totally new side of herself. She acts more and more like a puppy every single day. We call her our old lady baby. She runs to the door and wag her tail every time we come home. Hi, sweet girl. It just makes me so happy that she's that excited about something in her life. She literally is one of the happiest dogs I think I've ever seen now. First time she got to lay on the couch. For the first time we took her to the beach. Within the last couple months, she's experienced her first zoomies. <laughs> Little donut, popping some wheelies. We try to go all out for her birthday and Christmas and everything like that. So we wanted to make everything just really special for her. It has been the most rewarding and fulfilling thing, knowing that we changed her life. What she needed, and I think what she wanted, was a family. And to wait that long, and then finally have everything you've been missing, I think just watching her life being changed is what has changed our lives. I wish there were more people out there that gave dogs like her a chance. I think they just see that, oh, she's old, and she might not be around for very long. It's really no different than having a younger dog, and I wish people would see that. We don't care if we're gonna have her for three more years or for three more days. We're gonna make it the best life she's ever had. Sometimes I wonder if she remember what it was like back then, but I know she'll remember this forever. <laughs>